Good day, and here we are once again with Aliens vs. Predator 2. And we are on one of the final episodes of the Colonial Marine campaign because we're doing the very last Colonial Marine campaign chapter. And of course we have the Exosuit! Yeah, that is what I am talking about. Did ABP-3 have this? I don't think so! We got a laser gun, we've got a flamethrower, and on the other arm, we've got a minigun and a rocket. And of course we have an IR filter, which we don't really need. This is what I'm talking about. More FPSs really need this. But alas, that's not to be. Because that would be too fun, wouldn't it? Die, Xenos. You're not gonna kill me this time! And stop eating those bodies! You damn flies. Giant flies. And we're going to squash giant bugs. You need a giant exosuit. Which is kind of funny. Did people just have to kind of jump up there and hit it? You're not really that much taller in the exosuit than when you're just on the ground, but who cares? It's an exosuit, ladies and gentlemen! This is an old survey it's like a power loader, only a million times more awesome. Yeah. So basically, they're talking about the space jockeys, or the pilots, as they refer to them as the, in this game. And one thing that's interesting is, uh, apparently, what happened... Uh, okay, so let me explain first. The, the jockeys created the xenomorphs. They did that. But they created them so they could not actually breed. Which you would think is a good idea. You know, don't even try synthetic burn. How is he surviving like that? Eat laser. Or just... He's t soaking up a lot of damage. Why can't I just stomp him? Okay, you know what? You know what? You won't survive? A rocket right next to you. There. Finally. Apparently I'm not very accurate with this thing. But anyway... So they created the Xenos as obviously a biological weapon of some description. But eventually they were able to evolve to the point where they could breed and I just walked off the cliff. Way, way to go me. Way to go. And I didn't even save. So I'm thinking it's jump cut time. And jump cut and we're back. Yeah. Walking off a cliff is not a good idea. I don't know why I've been playing this game so poorly. And it looks like I never even played the game, which is kind of sad, seeing as how I put in a lot of hours into this game. I think I actually did AVP 1 better than this. But who knows, and more importantly, who cares? Because, let's face it, dying is more funny than just, yeah, this is exactly what you do. At least I don't get lost in this game, because I know where to go, even if I'm not doing a big job. And let's just destroy the little things. Well, let's just miss them all around. Come on, and hit it, and hit it. Come on, one more. And there it goes! Yay, the little spinny thing will spin! And it will somehow melt the hive stuff. The hive resin. There we go, we got one reactor online. Woo, and that opens up a door. Now, unfortunately, we only get to use this for a very short period of time. Because, eventually... Damn it! Damn it! Get away from me, Xenos! Time to use... Flame thro Flamethrower! Flame on! Damn it, that's a crappy movie. Fantastic Four. More like the Fantastic Four, more like. And that pun was still better than half the dialogue in that movie. But anyway, bad dialogue aside. See, I just love being able to roast those Xenos. So much fun. So much fun. Let's use the laser. The laser is really accurate and pretty powerful. 
Okay, only a couple more to go. Now, there actually were a few exosuits seen in the comics, but they never really worked that well for whatever reason. And one big problem with the exosuits in the comics was the fact that... Oh, it's a Praetorian. Melt him, too! Damn, I'm out of laser. And when you run out of energy, you walk a lot slower. And melted him. Now I'm out of flame, so I'm down to just using... If you stand still, you can regenerate power a lot faster. I'm down to just the, to just the minigun and rocket launcher, but it won't be that big of a deal. But the one problem with a lot of the exosuits in the comics is they did not have fully enclosed cockpits. I do not understand why that would not be seen as a good idea. Okay, let's let the power... Actually, I'm not even going to wait. We're not going that much slower. But why would you not want a fully enclosed cockpit? It doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, let's face it, Xenomorphs always like to try to slice off your face, so you'd want to generally keep that safe. And then again, there's the face hugger issue as well. Of course the signal's cutting out. The signal always cuts out. Oh no, I think we're coming close to the end of the episode. Because of course, we're gonna walk through here, and what's gonna happen? Before we do, I want to just kill as many Xenomorphs as possible with this and just enjoy the exosuit for what it is. An awesome engine of destruction. And of course I had to hit, hurt myself with my own rocket. Why not? They just keep coming! Where did they get the host for all of this, I wonder? For every Xenomorph there has to have been a bipedal host. And there we go. No! The awesome power exosuit is about to be damaged by falling through all of this, and we're down. Even though we were able to move, it, on the other side of the loading screen, we will see that it's completely damaged and will not walk anymore. Yeah, see? Why, I ask. Why? Okay, so this is General Lodge signing off for now.